Hallelujah. We wait upon you, Father, and we thank you for the renewal of strength, Father. You said to wait upon you and be of good courage and you shall strengthen our heart. Thank you for strengthening hearts today, Father. Troubling hearts. Lord, you said not to let our hearts be troubled. So we give no place in our heart to trouble. We give no place in our heart to confusion. We give no place to fear in our heart. Our heart is fixed upon you, trusting in you, Lord. Thank you, Father. We give no place to that trouble in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glorify your name. Thank you, Father, for the moving of the Holy Ghost here. Thank you for confirming, Father, your word with signs following. Oh, we praise you, Father. We thank you. We give no place to trouble in our hearts in the name of Jesus. We give place to your word, Father. Let your word be richly in our hearts. You said, Father, that's what we need to do. To be rich. Let your word, the word of Christ dwell richly in us in all wisdom. Hallelujah. Trouble has no place in these hearts. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Let's decide and we're not going to give place to trouble in our hearts. Jesus said, let not your heart be troubled. He said, let, let it not be afraid. He said, the peace that is mine, I give it unto you. Yeah. So we can purpose to decide and say, my heart is going to be peaceful. My heart is going to be staying on the Lord. Peace, with peace you can overcome many situations. When Jesus was faced with that storm, he said, peace, be still. That's what you do to your heart. When trouble tries to show up, fear tries to show up, worry, you say, no, in the name of Jesus, I refuse it. I refuse to let my heart be troubled and not let it be afraid. But we're going to choose the peace of God. Because we understand God said that He's not the author of confusion, but He's the God of peace. And with peace, He gives us wisdom to make right choices. When you are peaceful, you can truly make the right choice. And God gives you His peace. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for your peace working here today. Thank you, Lord, that you are the Prince of peace no evil shall befall us neither shall any plague come near our dwelling even as we dwell in the secret place of the most high and abide under the shadow of the almighty we say lord you are our refuge you are our fortress our god in whom we trust we honor you in this place and we celebrate your word in these songs. We celebrate that your presence is here, the anointing that destroys every yoke of bondage. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Praise God. Let's worship the Lord this morning. Look at somebody and say, We choose the fear of the Lord. We choose the fear of the Lord. And the fear of the Lord is not a scary fear. It's reverencing Him. We honor Him. We choose to honor Him. We bring whatever things in our life we say, first of all, does this honor the Lord? We've got to choose at that moment. When we honor Him, He honors us. That's what He said. When we lift Him up, when we honor Him, He honors us. So let's honor His word in, as we sing. Hallelujah. And all of you joining us online, we're so glad that you've tuned in. We pray that the word will minister to you and the Lord will talk to you and strengthen you. We're not going to choose fear in our hearts. We're not going to choose trouble. But we're going to choose to believe that the peace of God passes all our understanding and guards our heart. And we pray that you make the choice today. Whatever situation that you are in, decide that you're only going to choose the peace of the Lord. You're not going to choose fear. Because in fear, there is torment. You can't make right choices out of fear. Fear keeps you bound. But the Spirit of God in you is not a spirit of bondage again to fear. He'll help you make choices out of faith and out of peace. And they'll be the right choices. Usually in fear, we make wrong choices. You know, we can, we can we lose our peace when we just give in to trouble and talk things out of fear. But let's purpose and decide. When I choose the peace of God, the decision I make is going to be right. Hallelujah. So we pray today you'll be blessed and ministered.
Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We're going to sing, Don't let the enemies of faith get hold of your life. Some of these enemies, like we've been hearing, worry, fear, trouble, they are enemies. And you have a right to resist them. The devil doesn't need to sit on your shoulder and you don't have, you don't need to listen to him. You're not obligated to listen to him because you have the authority to get rid of those enemies of fear, trouble and worry. Let's sing about it and say, I'm going to quit looking at these enemies and focus my eyes on the word of God. Amen. Let's praise him.
from Deuteronomy 28 the blessings that the Lord has promised us say it after me I am blessed in this city I am blessed in this city I am blessed in the field I'm blessed in the field. my going out is blessed my going out is blessed my coming in is blessed my coming in is blessed. I am the head I'm the head and not the tail I'm not the tail I am above only above and only. not beneath and not beneath whatever I set my hands to whatever I set my hands is to. blessed Glory to God. Let's sing the blessings that the Lord has given us. That's what I have. That's who I am. Blessings and more blessings overtake me. All His commandments I observe.
Abraham might come upon us. Galatians 3.13 Christ has redeemed us from the curse. In Deuteronomy 28 you see the blessings mentioned and then you see the curses that are mentioned. And when you read that chapter it's important to read it in the light of Galatians 3.13 because it says Christ has redeemed us from the curse. So when you come to the part where it talks about the curses in Deuteronomy 28, you can say, thank you, Lord, I'm redeemed from all these curses. There are so many. Let's read the scripture, Galatians 3.13. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. And that curse is mentioned in Deuteronomy 28. After the blessings, curses of tuberculosis, fever, smitten knees and legs, all those blindness, fear, all those are under the curse. But Christ has redeemed us from the curse. He bought you out of that. You don't need to live in the curse anymore when you realize he paid a heavy price so you can be free from it. And he became a curse for us. Upon the cross, anybody who hung on a cross in those days, they were cursed. They were completely written off. And Jesus also was hanging there as a curse. But he did that for a reason, to bring you out of the curse. So you don't need to live in it. You can be set free so that the blessing might come upon you. The next verse tells us, so that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles, on all of us, through Jesus Christ, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. When you think of the cross, always say, thank you, Lord. Christ has redeemed me from the curse. When he was beaten 39 times with those stripes, all the curse of sickness was on his body. So you can be free and you can be set free and have the blessing of healing. Aren't you thankful? Jesus took your place. Let's sing about his blood that he shed for us on Calvary. The precious blood of Christ. Hallelujah. Lord, we're so thankful to you. The place that we were supposed to stand in, we were supposed to take all those beatings. But Lord, you came in our place. You who knew no sin became our sin so that we can be righteous. You took our sickness so we can have the blessing of healing. And we're so thankful for the precious blood of Christ. Hallelujah. Let's honor his blood, the precious blood.
He who knew no sin became our sin that we might become righteous. He became a man and humbled himself. His grace was God's redemption plan. The precious blood.
praying it all for us. Oh Lord, thank you for coming and dying in our place. You were crucified, beaten, and it was nothing wrong that you did, but you took the penalty of sin that Adam and Eve brought into this world. But much more by your grace we are saved. Through one man came sin. But through one man, Jesus, grace came upon us. 
and Jesus completely destroyed the work of the devil. And Lord, we are thankful to you. We honor your blood, Lord. The precious blood of Christ. I thank you that this blood is healing people's bodies right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for healing legs and feet and knees in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Glorify your name. The blood has paid it all. Thank you, Father. Thank you for the precious blood of Christ. In Jesus' name, amen.